Hey, welcome back guys. Today I'll be going over what is arguably one of the most important uh, tutorials uh, for Zune users. Um, that would be uh, Zune firmware updates. Uh, but you might be wondering what this box is. And uh, this is actually something I received in the mail about a week ago. It's an open box limited edition Zune 30. Um, but as you may have guessed, based on the video title, I'm not gonna be going over this um, in this video. Uh, rather, I'll save it for uh, the next video. I also have another couple of um, little nuggets we'll be going over in the next video, so something to look forward to. Yeah, so uh, make sure to subscribe uh, so you can stay tuned for that. Anyways, uh, I've debated making a firmware update tutorial for a while. Uh, there are quite a few on YouTube already. Uh, I did notice um, with most of them, they tend to run a little bit on the long side. I saw one that was like over 40 minutes long, uh, so I figured I'd make an abridged version. Uh, that way uh, people don't have to wade through an hour long video for a fix that really only takes about five minutes to set up. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, there are a couple ways to go about this. I'll be using the Zune update process. It's easier, it's quicker, uh, you don't have to install any software. Um, there's another older process that uses an Abyss web server. Uh, there's already a good tutorial on going that route, so I'll post a link in the description to that. The first thing you want to do is follow the other link in the description, and it'll take you to this OneDrive folder, and you'll, you'll just want to download these two text files. This is for the using the Abyss web server process, um, so you can ignore that. And this, I think, is a it's a script that automates this whole thing, but I haven't confirmed that it works, so you could ignore that for now too. So go ahead and download these two files. Once you have them downloaded, you want to open up the location of the host file. And just copy and paste this into Windows Explorer, like so. So click here and just paste and enter. And uh, this is the file you're looking for. Um, in my case, I had to move this to another folder uh, without special permissions. Otherwise, it didn't let me save the file. So this is just a folder I had made on my desktop. Um, and now I'm able to open it with Notepad. And right here at the bottom is where we're going to want to save that line of text, which will be in the other txt file, copy this line into your host file, and you're just going to want to copy it again, and paste to the bottom here, paste, and just save, and then of course you're going to want to move the file back. So. Continue, and we should be good to go. Let's find a Zune that we can update. Okay, so I found an extra Zune HD lying around. I wiped the firmware, so I'm plugging it in now, and opening the Zune software, and we should, well, we'll definitely be prompted with an update. And click and accept here, and it should successfully update it. Okay, um, looks like it was a success. And now it's gonna take us through the setup process. I'm gonna skip all of that. But yeah, I hope this was uh, short and sweet. Wasn't really looking to drag things on, so hopefully this was useful to you guys. I'll see you in the next video. And one last thing before you guys go. Check out my lights. Oh yeah.